Hello and welcome to Supreme Commander Forge Alliance. This is, I believe, the quarterfinals or the semifinals of the losers bracket and the under 3500 2v2 tourney that uh, took place this weekend. However, it did not finish, but it's amazing that it got as far as it did. Actually, I'm going to slow this down. I think I want to say a couple things. First off, big thank you to Zoc, Cal, Verox, and uh, Violet. Uh, I believe that they're the ones who held everything together. Uh, forgive me if I forgot somebody or if I gave somebody uh, too much credit, but uh, I believe those three. Uh, it ran quite smoothly from what, uh, what I understand. And there are a couple of games left. The most important games are left, and I'll try to cover some of them. I'm sure other casters are going to cover others. Hopefully Guile can do something like the final, uh, like what he did for the Immortals Trophy. Uh, what else? I guess I wanted to say there was a really cool news channel. Um, well, news, F-A-F news. And I try to put that in description. Hopefully, I don't forget. People should check that out and contribute content if you can, if you have ideas. So uh, it's really nice to have new people who are involved and uh, motivated. That's really the most thing, the most important thing that we need. Um, yeah, now I'll try to be more positive. What else? There was a bunch of stuff I wanted to say. Oh yeah, uh, Violet has a Twitch account uh, that she she needs to stream a lot more. I think uh, she can get a whole bunch of views. When she first came uh, to Fav, she was getting like over 100 uh, viewers for the Twitch streamer for Fav. That's quite a lot. Usually people get somewhere on the order of 50. So she needs to continue to do that if she wants. Uh, besides that, she's already a mod. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but she seems pretty nice. Although never trust anybody who's nice as a general rule. Sometimes you got to trust a little bit. Uh, well, let's focus on this game. Ajax, uh, extremely good player. From a voice of reason. Uh, what the heck is it? Clan. Uh, he's got Qua Q. I actually have no idea who this is. 1300. And you can see the sum of the two uh, ratings. I believe these are global ratings. Uh, has to be under 3500. Those are the rules. And I should mention that I believe the first place in the tourney does get uh, $200. So pretty nice cash price for this one. Um, the other side, UEF, Seraphim, strangely no Cybern, Jagged, and uh, Nexus. Two players who I get to see a whole bunch on the ladder. I'm sure anybody who's playing the ladder, somewhere uh, between or on the order of 1700 rating, sees, sees these guys all the time. And I got to say, Jagged is way better than Nexus. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but they're both pretty good. And I think both their main strengths is that if they get on ahead of you, they can tech like crazy. Uh, and I think both of them are significantly weaker than Jagged, even though, uh, sorry, Ajax, even though Jagged improved drastically over the last few months. I think if I had to choose one player, we improved the most in 1v1 over, say, the last four months. I think it would be Jagged for sure. He's now somewhere top 20 on the ladder. And it's it's really painful to feel uh, it on yourself as a player gets better. Because you're like, I'm supposed to beat this person. And then, of course, you always have the UI lag excuse. But, you know, that only works so far. At some point, you just got to admit that I think they are getting better than you. Although, I don't think that's the case with Jagged. Although, he's at least as good as me on a good day. All right, well, although he's beaten me like the last five games. But that's besides the point. Uh, Ajax is one player. Actually, I also played him a whole bunch on the ladder. And I don't remember last time I beat him, but I remember a long time ago. We were about equal. That was a very long time ago. Nexus is somewhere in my ballpark today. And as I said, Kwaki, I haven't seen. And uh, let's see. We need to stop talking about things related to myself. Focus on the game. People neglected the mid. There are a couple Tech 1 wrecks here, here and there. A couple Tech 2 wrecks here that looks like Qua is picked up. And you can see for both uh, Ajax and Qua, they were really quick to run to the sides. Although it looks like Nexus uh, made it to his side faster than Ajax. And it's interesting how it's a bit asymmetric. Uh, if Nexus can be very aggressive and to keep Ajax from getting on top of things, although it's based on the score. Yeah, he's definitely on top of things. Um, he can let uh, Aj uh, Jagged overpower his opponent, although it looks like Jagged uh, is lowest on the score, whatever that means. 
and a PD is gonna go up probably want to kill that that's free mass <laughs> however a sloop will take care of it eventually jagged is asking for bombers and this lack of air here a little after four minutes is quite striking a big land spam big land spam tech to land and uh, Ajax looks like he's uh, try harding here uh, Ajax with Seraphim is uh, quite deadly I think his best runs on a ladder were when he played Seraphim then he switched to UEF I don't think he was quite as good although still way better than anybody except the top five people as we see Qua who secured his Nexus we always see tech to land and overall I think the bottom side does have an advantage I see actually the reclaim the, there is significant reclaim on this map Ajax 1500 Jagged the 1700 Nexus about a thousand Qua 600 so you can see how reclaim scales with the person's rating that's actually generally true seven kills on the commander Nexus three kills PD is going to go down. One kill on that PD. Good work from Nexus. If, uh, if you're somebody who can keep their PDs alive longer using the ACU, either sniping the RD with bombers or the, your own ACU, that really makes it a big pain in the ass. As he just saw, uh, Ajax, I'm sure, feels <laughs> a lot of different feelings about that PD, all negative. As we see Jagged now pushing oh and this qua wow, this is a bit of a new mistake i think jagged sensed this he's isolated the acu and if jagged can turn around he has superior firepower right here he will clean up ah you can say a new mistake and in this case he should have been running back he should be running home he's still in full health although i think he needs to bite the bullet give up these four mexes because no, it actually turned out well I was completely wrong somehow I don't understand how but Jagged uh, I guess he had a whole bunch of reinforcements he wasn't using he's gonna come in right now he's gotta at least have parity as we see bombers and now tech 2 moving in probably want to keep that away from your ACU and I actually think a couple uh, Ilshavas up the middle from Hadjix would cause all kinds of damage to uh, these two bases it's really not much that could be done except putting a whole bunch of tech 1 PDs. Maybe a missed opportunity for Magix here. You've got to realize there are no ACUs in the middle. Meanwhile, here, 5 kill. Elshiva is playing with fire. Qua. 18 kills, nearly full health. Jagged, 25 kills, half health. And he's got tech 2, so. Elshiva's. Looks like uh, both sides were thinking Elshavas and Percy's as we see bombers targeting and this is a bit of a 2v1 action bombers targeting Ajax power Ajax so low on power and that's one thing about Ajax he can play with very low power you can see he's making absolutely no air maybe this is where his ally should have made some air uh, at least make some flak because it's not good as we see pillars joining the freight overcharge from Jagged they're coming up minute 8 whole bunch of reclaim Ajax 14 kills and uh, so far I think the one advantage for the top side is that they did use air and they did kill a couple pigeons and what this what happens if you're Ajax in 120 power you can continue playing but it's very difficult to actually progress you can't really upgrade more factories uh, efficiently you can't make air you can not upgrade Nexus you can't get better uh, position than what you already have if you have no power. Commander you really got to lead with power. This Ajax retreats. He's got uh, it's actually, it's fresh, fresh Elshava focusing on Nexus and uh, oh, vet at the very end. Nexus is thinking about getting a draw, I believe. But oh, this game is getting pretty exciting now. Jagged runs away with uh, with that vet. I think you well. I think actually he would have died just barely. From a vet, you get about a thousand health, and he's not at seventeen hundred. I think he got that from the regen. It would have been extremely close, especially with a couple bombers from uh, Jagged. I think he could have put the finishing touches. As uh, Jagged now, oh, and yeah, this could be something controversial. Although this was decided a long time before the tourney that this is going to be full share. Uh, and actually what this means is that Nexus has died 
and given his base to Jagged. Jagged is now on double base. <laughs> Gave up on trying to knock Qua off his position. And you can see now, what? This is just disgusting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gotta tip my hat to uh, Jagged for, uh, for that strat there. <laughs> He's knocked down all power production to the ACU power production. So it's 40 versus 625. In terms of map control, it's nearly identical. Maybe slight advantage with the bottom side, but that means absolutely nothing when you have no pigeons. No pigeons. And what do you do? You got to get that hydro. And of course, now if you're jagged, I'm sure he realizes that the other side is pretty fucked. He's got, he's got air. If he can continue denying power, and I think that's uh, a couple stationary flex. It's 150 mass early on. Pretty much makes a no-fly zone for uh, Tech 1 Bombers, but we didn't really see that. These are these did their job, actually 10 kills, but they're not nearly as efficient as we all see the Tech 2 flak. Jagged actually uh, deciding to get out of uh, top position, retreating with superior units, although probably feels like he can win the first battle, but maybe not the second. Qua making P-Gens, <laughs> still 20, this is so sad to see, although Jagged, uh, it's his to lose, I think, as long as he keeps his ACU safe, keeps on scouting, takes map control, he's probably just out tech, because he's, he's on double base, way ahead on eco, I'm actually going to speed this up, I want to see what happens. If the bottom side can pull this off, it would be absolutely amazing. They did get that Hydro finally from Ajax. You can see it's being targeted. And it's a precious uh, Hydra. Eight, uh, actually 1600 health. 250 damage per bomber. We will need uh, seven bombers to kill that. As, yeah, this sucks now. Superior uh, numbers. Slow this back down. Quad retreating, giving up the side. Jag is not even picking up uh, the top corner. Probably feels like this is already won. Oh, some probably get Tech 2 in his ACU. Tech 2 ACU, much harder to kill. Magic 25 kills, no power. Good target <laughs> choice. Again, on 20 power. Uh, I would have already quit, personally. I would have said, GG, well played, and uh, get out of here. Not play for a couple days. But yeah, this is the neglecting air and taking advantage. And I think that Jagged at one point when he he got tech two land first, if he could have taken a couple Ultravas up the middle, he could have wrecked havoc. He could have targeted uh, the power after just massacring all the Nexus. I think they could have won it because Qua actually did quite well uh, winning this side. Felt like he should have lost, but he didn't. <laughs> More pigeons. He's got the hydro back. If you're jagged, yeah, you just don't do anything stupid. Take your map control, which is he's doing with his engineers. Continue to scout. Make sure they don't do anything stupid. And uh, if there's an opportunity, continue to knock down any pigeons. Both hydros are up. Qua continues to build and actually yeah now he's gonna get tech 2 tech 2 air would be a good move I think from Jagged although uh, Jagged also his power actually went down by about 100 for some reason but maybe he'll get tech 2 on his ACU get to uh, tech 2 pgen the loose cannon here Elshava rating is just a beautiful thing it's a walking PD Actually, the DPS from PD is about 160 from one of these, about 120, so it's not quite a PD, but it's got a similar fire rate. And uh, Lobos. Getting the victory. <laughs> nice. This is so much better than casting the sentence. I really hope there is no uh, sound defects.
Yeah. Jagged, take two ACU and gun. Yeah, I think he's ready to take this one. Gotta take this one alive and conscious, actually, no. This one you can take dead. And I think Ajax is, is gonna die. He's, got, he's being outranged by Jagged. Jagged, you gotta remember, he's alone. That's maybe the only advantage for the bottom side. They'd have two ACUs versus one. Actually, this is where Quar gotta get up there. And there goes Jagged. I'm not sure what that means, but shit, it's probably not not good. I thought Ajax was from the um, United States, but I guess every single uh, player from the United States is a foreigner. I guess I'm not an exception for that. There it goes. Oh, that was a, that was a power storage. It's a qua. I think he could have helped his ally a lot more. Although I can't really blame him too much for what he did here. And this push here is just feeding Jagged 52 kills. Huge veteran. See, that, that ACU is not dying anytime soon. Yeah, it's over basically. This is a massacre. Pretty exciting game actually. And I'm going to look uh, to cast a couple more of these. I think uh, there are other semifinals. And this is in the loser's bracket. I'm not sure who all they lost to and what the next game is, but I'll put a bunch of links in the description. Hopefully people enjoy this.